Hello everyone, that's tuning in to today's first video. We're going to have a look at the ECMWF ensembles for today's uh, first video. And this is going to take us through the next month. So we go to the very beginning of um, December with this. We're going to look at temperature and precipitation anomalies from the ECMWF ensembles for the next uh, 30 days uh, from the Hungarian uh, Met Office. So we can't show you mean sea level pressure and we can't show you 500 bit of our heights. But from the so temperature and precipitation anomalies, you get a rough idea of the pattern that's going to be bringing uh, these temperature and precipitation uh, anomalies. So that's what we're going to do for today's first video. Coming up this afternoon on the homepage, we'll have your regular week to 10 day uh, video update. So that's going to take us into the middle part of November. Looks like weather's getting much more unsettled, but we'll have much more about that this afternoon. So we're going to start off with uh, week one temperature anomalies. It can take us from the 5th through to the 11th of uh, November. It's week 45 for the year, but it is week one for our sort of um, our video update. So uh, we're starting uh, for uh, with week from the 5th to the 11th. Uh, we see a warm scene actually across many parts of Europe above average temperature anomalies coming up in the week ahead. Very mild uh, across the central and eastern parts of Europe. Actually, you would say warm I would have thought and up to Scandinavia as well we've got temperature anomalies widely up uh, between three and six degrees above average in these areas down in the Mediterranean it's a relatively uh, mild scene as well above average temperatures covering much of the central basin of the Med through to Italy and then over the Adriatic into the Balkans and down towards uh, the Black Sea area and also parts of Greece and Turkey coming out milder than average uh, Spain and Portugal forecast to be a little bit co uh, cooler than average in the weekend, as is much of North Africa. And then we come up to France, and we see that much of France is uh, forecast to be milder than average. The UK also coming out milder than average, although Ireland is nearer to average, but maybe even a little bit cooler than average down in the Republic of Ireland. So in the extreme west and southwest of Europe, it is a little bit cooler. But really from France to the UK, eastwards, it's uh, much milder than average, particularly through those central and eastern parts of Europe and up to Scandinavia as well, where it does look uh, really, really mild indeed. It's actually a bit cooler though as we get towards the uh, west of Russia. Precipitation anomalies are looking like this. So uh, a proper west uh, westy split here. So many western parts of Europe, including the UK, Ireland, France, Spain, Portugal, coming out with uh, a much uh, wetter than average week, above average precipitation in many of those western parts of Europe. But from sort of Belgium, Holland and Germany eastwards, it's a drier than average scene across the central and eastern parts of Europe. So there appears to be a ridge that's sitting across central and eastern parts of Europe in the week ahead with low pressure out in the Atlantic bringing these very unsettled conditions to the far west of Europe but that's a much of Europe actually dominated by high pressure. Scandinavia is a little bit of a mixed bag so it's a bit drier than average uh, like across western and northern parts of Norway but eastern Norway and Sweden there we're coming out uh, a little bit wetter than average, a little bit above average with precipitation. So a bit of a mixed bag over the Scandinavian uh, peninsula. Denmark, which of course is part of that Scandinavia, somebody emailed me to point out that uh, I often speak of Denmark as being um, separate Scandinavia, but Denmark is actually a part of Scandinavia. Uh, so Denmark comes out drier than average. Um, so it's a mixed bag up there, but most central, eastern, and northern parts of Europe are a bit drier than average. The far west of Europe is wetter than average down in the Mediterranean it's driving and average in the east of the Med and then of course as I say in the west of the Mediterranean particularly Spain and Portugal it's um, wetter than average there. Week uh, two temperature anomalies taking us from the uh, 12th through to the 18th of November, so through the middle part of the month. Again, looking very, very mild across most parts of Europe indeed. So uh, very substantially above average across much of northern Europe, Scandinavia, over towards the Baltic states and then into uh, western Russia. Much warmer than average there. Temperature anomalies again around uh, three to six degrees above average. Most central parts of Europe also very very mild Germany France over towards Poland uh, and then down into 
countries like Austria and uh, and uh, R uh, Romania, uh, and going even further south, that down towards Greece. We're coming out much warmer than average there uh, in the week ahead. Temperature normally is either somewhere between around 1 to 3 or 3 to 6 degrees above average very widely. Spain and Portugal is warming up to become uh, warmer than average as well. And they go north into the UK and Ireland, also milder than average here. Actually, Ireland uh, is coming out close to average. So that's just about the coolest place in Europe uh, for this middle part of November. But the East Central Model is forecasting a very, very mild week indeed uh, across most parts of Europe from the 12th through to the 18th of November. Precipitation anomalies in this week. North and west looking most unsettled. So, uh, again, we see above average precipitation anomalies for Scandinavia. We see above average precipitation anomalies or average to above average for the UK and for Ireland too. Uh, France, Spain, Portugal, uh, rather above average precipitation anomalies there. So, clearly, again, it's most unsettled in the west and the north of Europe. These areas uh, appear to be impacted by low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic, whereas over in the east, it's not as dry actually through the central and eastern areas as it was through week one, but still drier than average, and uh, particularly drier than average actually down in the um, central and southeastern part of the Mediterranean, so Italy over the Adriatic to the Balkans, down towards Greece, it looks like it's uh, rather substantially drier an average in those areas. So maybe high pressure being squashed down a little bit in towards more southeastern parts of Europe uh, through this week. High pressure down there. Uh, and low pressure is perhaps becoming a little bit more uh, influential across northern Europe in particular, moving in from off the Atlantic with the jet stream in that sort of position. Then we go through to week three, goes from the uh, 19th to the 25th of November. So we see close, to, we're cooling down a little bit in the far west, close to average temperature anomalies across Ireland, UK, western parts of France into uh, Spain and Portugal. So average temperature anomalies there, which is a little bit of a reduction compared to what we have in week two. Anywhere east of that, though, is forecast to be milder than average, not quite as warm as it is in weeks one and two except in the far north, uh, far north of Scandinavia, still coming out uh, at three to six degrees above average air. But most places cooling down a little bit to between one and three degrees above average. But again, still very substantially uh, milder than average seen across the vast majority of uh, Europe. It's just in the extreme west that uh, we see those temperature anomalies cooling down to become uh, nearer to average. Precipitation-wise, we still see this east-west split. So, uh, again, uh, much of the UK and Ireland average to above average with precipitation. Uh, parts of uh, Norway, in particular, still a little bit uh, wetter than average there. France, Spain, Portugal, uh, so close to average temperature anomalies in these regions. As we get to Germany eastwards, we find that generally it is, again, uh, a little bit drier than average, particularly so down into the southeast. So once again, I think it's still a broad pattern really here of high pressure uh, in the east and particularly in the southeast of Europe. Uh, low pressure is out in the north and the west and you bring the jet stream through a little bit like that. So the reason it's most settled in the west and north is that we bring most low pressures through and the, uh, the east and the southeast in particular gets drier conditions. Notice much of a Mediterranean forecast you have average to possibly a little bit drier than average precipitation uh, anomalies in that week from the 19th to the 25th of November. And then finally we get through to week four. This one takes us from the 26th of November through to the 2nd of December. So just at the very beginning of uh, meteorological uh, meteorological winter of 2018-19. Of course, um, there's question marks about that, but uh, the way we divvy up the, the statistics is that uh, we have a defined period, and the winter of that defined period is going to be the 1st of December through to either the 28th or sometimes every four years, 29th of February. So um, that's just the very beginning of meteorological uh, winter. And we see the temperature anomaly, again, for many in northern and northeastern parts of and eastern parts of um, Europe, it's looking rather warm, warmer than average temperature anomalies, or milder than average temperature anomalies, let's say. I mean, these are anomalies to average. So over Scandinavia, northern Scandinavia, 
uh, at the beginning of December, it's going to be cold, even if the temperature anomaly is 1 to 3 degrees above average. It'll probably still be sub-zero. It'll probably still be snowing very widely across the northern parts of Scandinavia. So always bear in mind with this, and it's anomalies to average, and you have to think what the um, sort of average will be at any particular time of year for any particular area. So, I mean, down across southeastern parts of Europe, down close to Greece, uh, there, um, temperature anomalies of 1 to 3 degrees above average at the beginning of December. It's going to be quite pleasant. You're going to be seeing temperatures probably into the mid to upper teens uh, Celsius. In the north of Scandinavia, one to three degrees above average. It's probably still going to be sub-zero. It's probably still going to be uh, snowing. So that's always something you have to bear in mind when you're talking about anomalies to average. But milder than average temperature anomalies in the far north and east of Europe. Uh, then from Germany westwards, most places are coming out with average uh, temperature anomalies. It's a bit cooler than average for Ireland. It's a little bit cooler than average for western parts of uh, Spain and also over towards Portugal as well. So the extreme west of Europe looks rather cooler. Otherwise, close to average, except in the north and the northeast, where it appears to still be milder than average precipitation-wise. We're just losing the signal at this point. So uh, most places are being forecast to have uh, average precipitation anomalies. I suppose you can still sort of see that across east and southeast of parts of Europe, it appears to be a little bit drier than average in places there. So possibly still hints at that ridge being in the east of the southeast of Europe. But I suppose it may hint at being a little bit unsettled in the north still with some of those precipitation anomalies so possibly we still have that pattern of bringing the Atlantic in during week four but to be honest the anomalies are too weak by this point to really be able to get very much useful uh, from them so it looks like we're in for an unsettled uh, but relatively mild November across northern and western parts of Europe the Atlantic looks like it's going to be unleashed a little bit bringing bouts of rain uh, probably gale force winds at times for um, some parts of northern and western Europe as well, but mild temperatures. Much quieter scene across central, eastern, southern, southeastern parts of Europe under what appears to be quite a dominant area of high pressure, bringing mild temperatures. Bear in mind, underneath high pressure at this time of year over continental landmass, it could get cold and foggy with frost and fog, sort of inversion cold, if you like, but not true Arctic or Siberian cold in those areas because the high pressure is just sitting there across the south, uh, the east and south of Europe. So, um, lots quietest in the east and the southeast of Europe, uh, most unsettled conditions in the north and the west in what could be quite a wettish and mild November, I think, for northern and western parts of Europe, but plenty of dry weather over in the east. Uh, we'll do it all over again um, next week. And of course, next week's update will take us further into December. Will we see signs of things getting cold as we run up into the pre-Christmas period? You'll find out. Same time, same place uh, next week. Coming up this afternoon, we're going to have a look at weather for the next week's 10 days in detail. So come back for that. Be on the homepage uh, later on this afternoon. But uh, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.